Hello everyone and welcome to the Technical Minecraft podcast. As you can hear, I'm TT and I'm joined by four other people. I think they can introduce themselves right now. Hey, I'm TT. Hey, I'm Gang. I'm Shin. I'm Roby. Amazing. And yeah, we just thought we are doing a podcast about uh, uh, Technical Minecraft or things that happened in, yeah, in the last week or... In that case, since it's the first episode last month, probably. And you're not quite sure yet if you do the podcast every week or every second week. Depends on how much content there is and if we have enough time. So, yeah. I also wanted to mention uh, TRQ. I just put a link in the description since it's basically the same. But yeah, last podcast was like two years ago. And we just want to do something like that again. So, yeah, just start. How should we start? I guess... Go from top to bottom. On the videos? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we also link all the videos in the description, of course. Please check them out. They're great. And yeah, let's go from top to bottom. What happened this week? Um, First topic is a new tree farm by a Chinese guy, I think. So... Xi Zhong. Xi Zhong X. Xi Zhong. Xi Zhong yeah. X. Um, we already made some uh, tree farms some time ago. But now he's really starting to make faster ones the first tree farmer we want to talk about is the uh tree farm we released like three days ago or something like that the four game take detecting leaves birch tree farm 72k amazing title um it's basically a four game take tree farm with protection as the title suggests but the uh, issue is you need a speed clicker so for my part i don't really count it into the best or fastest tree farms. So, what do you think? What kind of detection system does he use? Uh, leaf like detection, I think. Yeah, just normal leaf yeah. detectors. But, and yeah, that's the first farm, but also, you also made a second one with only three dispensers instead of four. That can actually run at 60k logs per hour, but that's the same speed as Hungary's, so I don't I think... I think he also made a video, video because some of his dispensers didn't work or whatever. There's some bug. Oh, in this universal tree farm, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't... I think checked. that's not too long ago. I haven't checked it out myself. Can you tell us more? Uh, I don't know. Just some dispenser didn't trigger at all. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Probably some update order problem. As always, working with dispensers. So, yeah, actually, uh, I also made such a tr uh, farm, like, two years ago or whatever, with, uh, for game take and detection. I also made a quick unlisted video to show it. But it's quite old, and it's actually uh, quite nice uh, use for the uh, rail detection because that's the only uh, like the first time I used it. And yeah, you can check out the understood video in the description too, I think. So he he basically made the same thing, but it's not really worth it since it's the same speed as running on the clock. Might be a little bit more lag friendly. I'm not quite sure. So did you make any other farm? Nah. Oh yeah, and there's also. Attempt to make a four game tick jungle tree farm now. I don't know if that will work out. It's basically a modified version of my jungle farm layout. We'll see. I think some other people are working on it, but I don't think you can actually harvest 40 leaves per tree. Ah, we'll see. So that's it about the tree farms, I think. Or does anyone want to add something? Uh, I no, I don't, I don't know much about tree farms. So. There are not many more, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's. Probably the only guy working on tree farms again, because tree farms are kind of done. Can't really get much faster. So, but it's nice to see someone working on fast tree farms again. Yeah. And also updating most of the tech is from 1.8, I guess. Oh yes. With observers now, it's getting more compact for, yeah, especially universal tree farms, because for four or six game tech tree farms, you can't really use observers at all. But still, I mean, the things I build are always, yeah. Not the most compact, I would say. Chinese guys are better at this. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. And someone else? Uh, what was next? The pets falling in the void when crossing dimensions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's actually... Mango made a video about it. Or oh, back of the week episode. I mean, it's, it's a valid point, but I don't see a situation where your pet's going into the end portal before you are. So, I mean, it's it's just... Even though it, he says it's not, it is kind of an excuse to get old uh, uh, obsidian generators back. Yeah, true. Um, but 
Well, I, I think it's a valid reason. Like, and I, I'm not disagreeing with him that it's you know it's a bug that if you're if something goes in the and that isn't a player or a nether portal that isn't a player before you and they fall yeah. because there's nothing to support them then yeah yeah, yeah that, also is, for that items, is a valid bug not just the items, pets. Yeah. The items like if you throw something through a portal it's just gone and that's yeah bad. but you can't you can't really make an excuse for items though yeah. it's like i was throwing my diamonds into the end portal before i went in it and they disappeared it's like well why were you doing that <laughs> i don't no know valid reason why you'd be doing that uh, <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty old mail, yeah, from 1.9. Old bug. Well, let's see if it will get changed to one eight behavior again, who knows. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Can I make a special case for, like, just pets instead of all entities? That might no, be that could work. You work could around. make living entities, I guess. Yeah, yeah, living entities. Yeah, but then people will abuse the entities in the yeah. obsidian generators. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, not abusing if it's an intended game mechanic. Yeah. I mean, we I had a real... behavior in 1.8 and it was not a bug, so why not bring it back again? Right. Well, yeah, let's see how that will turn out. Now, next thing. Wait, oh, I'm too far down. What was someone next? else? I uh, think... Drowns going at very high speeds uh, when they get teleported. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a player. It's a video by it's just, Ray. It's just a just a pathfinding bug, if I remember correctly. Oh, all right. Yeah. So yeah, it is, I mean, it's not much to it. And is it really one million ever... blocks per second? I have no idea. I don't because watch because that thing. doesn't seem that's never real. Like yeah, it seems, it seems like a very it's way slower for sure. <laughs> well, at and... least it yeah, maybe it works. I don't know. What? Yeah, one million per second. Oh yeah, maybe in special cases. Who knows? I mean, the player can also go quite fast. I don't know if it's fixed by now, by the portals. Hmm. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's fixed. Yeah, but that's another bug. Let's see. It will get fixed probably at some point. Now, next one that's already older, like a month. Amazing Spider Farm by KK. KK, go talk. What's so special? It's bad. It has garbage collection system. Mm. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the fastest spider farm you can probably make without portals, so pretty nice. The collection system is shit though, uh, we all hate minecarts, yeah, but true. in that case, to make the fastest, I guess it's not too bad. Okay, you shouldn't have KE. Next we have, alright, the quarry by Comet, and to, no, to name I think help as well, and some other guys. Yeah. Which is kind of, I guess, one of the biggest projects that got released. Yeah, it was just the other day or yesterday or whatever. So, and it's really groundbreaking and probably at a point where no one will ever try to make a faster quarry. Uh, I don't think so. I think Ragu and someone else has a better concept. Oh yeah, they mentioned that once, but hmm, will be more laggy probably again. <laughs> so I think, I mean it, it is laggy, but for the for the for the uh, speed, it's it's reasonable. Yeah, the downside is you need the same space as height above as you want to mine down. Even more than twice Boy. because of the roof and everything. So in the nether you would get in trouble. Probably, if you want yeah. to mine all the way. Yeah. Well, since you need space at the bottom anyway, maybe it works out. Who knows? But still, yeah, that's a downside. Other than that... Oh yeah, talking about quarries, we're actually also trying to make a quarry, but... Not for blocks, but for gravity blocks, so sand, mainly. And I think XCOM made an unlisted video. Maybe you can put that in the description too. Where yeah, I'm working on it with him. Yeah, it should be possible. So, uh, how much is left to do? Isn't it almost done? Well, that mm, depends. Maybe we start from scratch again, I don't know. Why? Why would you start from scratch? Because we started using Palace concept. Because it's one of the only ones that are actually possible, I guess. Yeah. But I think Comet mentioned it in his video. If you push the blocks for liquids down from top to bottom, the 12 block wall can corrode by sand and gravity blocks. Oh, yeah. Right. So you need to actually push the blocks in when going up and not when going down. That's a kind of major flaw. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I was also thinking about using Comet's 
uh, fast quarry to modify it, but the disadvantages you need a five or six high space at the bottom, and with palas you only need two high, which is way more convenient. So, but I guess you could also you could easily modify comets quarry. Well, I don't know if people quite understand what we mean, but we mean we only get the gravel or sand out of it, but don't harvest the other blocks. We just put them somewhere else. Yeah, because so like most a... people think you just destroy them using TNT again. Yeah, we don't use TNT duping obviously, and we are just pushing the blocks like on top of the quarry and yeah, just leave them there forever. And just we can easily destroy the sand by gravity, obviously, and collect it. So yeah, that's what we are working on in creative right now. And I think that's it about the quarry, and we can move on. So it's basically just for mining out deserts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. We'll I mean, see how it gets along. I don't know. I think it's worth it if you run it for like 2k blocks or whatever and don't have to dig out more than 2 or 4 high. Because if it's you. It's 2 only. Yeah. If you dig like 6 high or more, you can also just dig descent. So no reason to build a quarry anymore. Alright. Next one is Radio by XCOM again. Uh, Instant Y is Roby. I think you. Uh, yeah, XCOM, I don't know who exactly was looking into it. I know Earth Computer made a fix for it in Carpet Mod, I think. That fixes the instant while breaking chunk unloading. But I don't know exactly who found the issue out. But the issue is kind of that when the chunk gets unloaded, the order in which uh, they should get processed, or the, I think, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's like a hash map and scrambled. So it's not getting saved in order. Yeah. So that's why they break. Yeah. And he showed a few ideas how you can fix that. Yeah, it's not too bad. Adding two rails or whatever. No problem. Alright. Oh, another XCOM video, but mainly Roby. Oh, right. That's the did one that. I added with him. Yeah, we found out how you can predict or calculate or find out the rhythm of passive mob spawning. Yeah, that's actually pretty amazing, I think. So, before you never had yeah, a way to automatically detect uh, when to trigger your passive mob farm or whatever, you always had to look when your mobs spawn and then press a button or whatever to start the clock. But now it's pretty nice. Did you already build it up in survival? Uh, yeah, the red zone is kind of done. I think it's almost working. There's just one issue on the portals or whatever I need to fix. Alright, nice. So yeah, we will also use that in a future passive mob farm. But yeah. Check out that video, it's really great. And do you do you think you should explain maybe a little bit how it works? Roby. Oh Roby's gone right now. Oh, okay. okay. Well I think they, there's enough explanation in the video itself. Yeah, I know, but like the, the point of the, the podcast basic is kind of... idea, yeah. Ah, uh, Roby's not here right now. Ah, bad. <laughs> he was the guy who did most of the research. Alright. Yeah. Move on. Uh, maybe we can talk about it later again. Let's just move right. on. Okay, what's that video? I haven't looked at it by dog. Right. Show a thumbnail. It just says XD next to it. Oh, yeah, just move on. I don't know, Ruby suggested something right. we can talk about, right. but maybe you should talk it's about It's just a carpet duper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. It's just a carpet duper. Wow, amazing. Never shown before. Thanks, Ruby. Yeah. Yeah, he's using Best it as a, as a fuel source for furnaces. Yeah, TDL showed okay. something like that, like when carpet tubing was introduced <laughs> or whatever, so. Right. And infinite fuel is kind of, uh, why, if you dupe the fuel, you can directly dupe the items you, uh, you want to smelt, so I don't know. <laughs> tubing is bad. All right, moving on from tubing. Uh, that's not needed. Uh, what's next? Uh, Psycraft server tour. Oh, well. Part six. Yeah, Mingo basically showed all projects from 111 and 112. Nothing special already. Yeah, most projects already shown. But the next one, Simple Enderman Farm. It's also a video by Doc since uh, it's for 113. And yeah, let's talk about the spawning mechanics in 113. Um, yeah, it got changed from sub chunks to basically checking the height of every single block and not the full chunk. So you have to build your farm at Y0 now to make it <laughs> really efficient. 
and that you only need like 10 spawning spaces for the max xp enderman farm i don't know what say about that what do you think is it a good thing to change or not uh well i mean it's going to make all mob farms like that are currently being used less efficient yeah uh, and we're going to build them lower and build them uh smaller i guess hmm. why did that change your game i don't know why yeah. I they, think... they love they love messing with us i guess <laughs> No, I, I think it was, was a try to make it more lag efficient, or uh, I don't know exactly, but I think the subjunk thing was better, as, at least for yeah. uh, designing farms, because now uh, it's not that great anymore. I, I mean, it... are there any are there any statistics on how much it affects between different levels? Like if you have multiple layers, let's say like level one, level five, level ten, does it? Are oh. there any differences? Well, yeah, there are differences, but yeah. Do we know how much, how significant they are? No. Okay. I don't know. I haven't ever played in a 113 version oh, yeah, server, or whatever. <laughs> no yeah. idea. But I mean, it, in theory, it makes more sense because if you only check the top block, it might be more uh, more efficient. But yeah, for designing farms, I guess the subjunk thing was great. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 the it's better than having the LC value though. Yeah, I can agree on that. Yeah, uh, probably. I mean, you can still influence it by building your farm lower, not like LC. It was always high. All right, then. Oh, amazing video where you tell us about it. What is it? <laughs> oh yes, this this took me years of development actually. <laughs> um, so basically, what it is, it's a machine that breaks lily pads for you um i think this is going to help a lot of people and i'm, I'm very proud of it nice thank you thank you for uh thank you for showcasing me yes. this means a lot to me for real how do you why do you, do you work on I, was, this? I was thinking i was thinking uh i'll just make this an unlisted video and then i forgot to make it unlisted when i submitted it so oh okay thanks that's, for the great content uh you're welcome it's very quality <laughs> Okay, then the next video, yeah, it's also about the mob spawning changes by Mango. He explains it more in detail, what's going on in 1.13. Yeah, it's mainly bad for witch farms because you have to build them at a certain height and only have a limited amount of spawning spaces. So that's the farms which are yeah, affected the most. So half the speed or whatever. So it's now it's really bad. Yeah. Ever since once 1.7, the uh, witch farm speed got lowered. Like from one, yeah, one in one seven, you got 8.8k items for one witch farm, and then in one eight, it was less already, like seven. I mean, the thing, the things that witches drop are kind of OP though. Yeah, redstone. Oh, I, can and I can understand why they're like, uh, these guys shouldn't have, you know, but double. I don't think it's by extra. It's just by accident. Yeah. Maybe it's by accident. Yeah, the rich the lowering of rates. I don't think they know how to lower the rates just for that. Then they can just lower the rates of witch spawning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they just wanted to mess with the spawning algorithm again. Great idea, yes. Instead of fixing the, the lag issues, they just ruin mob spawning. Yeah, just add, I don't know how many fish types. And then <laughs> I'd, after that, think about hmm, how can we make it more lag efficient. Well, I'm not sure if the algorithm now is more or less laggy. It should be less laggy. Come <laughs> on, it would be so bad if they change it and it's the... Uh, yeah. Well, you can speed up witch farms using RNG, of course. <laughs> that was not possible <laughs> in 1.7. Oh, well, it was probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but only only Jayway plays in 1.7. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's it about 1.13, I guess. No one really likes it. <laughs> there are not too many bad things, but... They're starting to add, like they fix one bug, yeah. one annoying bug, and then they add another one. Oh, and um, you're, you're really cutting really out there, buddy. Roboting. <laughs> we can't what? hear a thing. Oh. Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it about 113. Uh, 113 videos, I guess. Then next one, another video by Ray showing a Guardian farm for 113. Okay. 113, fuck. <laughs> oh, there goes uh, yeah, it's 120k items per hour. I mean, it was mainly designed by 
how is he called? Something something X. Zero X. Yeah. Oh, dead, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I think a different of it. Dead, there was such a... It's basically just, yeah, having water locked blocks where guardians spawn in with a water stream and they get pushed out. But again, in 113, you need way more spawning spaces and it's not even at the speed of a 112 farm yet. But, uh, like, I don't know, it took me like 10 seconds watching that video to come up with a faster, not faster, but a more compact spawning flow design. So it's 33% yeah, more compact. It takes, uh, we have more spawning spaces for the area and the speed, yeah, it should be faster, definitely. Well, when you now need spawning spaces for guardian farms, that's also the thing that you can use double, maybe. That might become a thing now. No, I, I don't think... If, I think he was at mob cap at, in his guardian farm, right? Yeah, but the lower, I mean the lower spawning spaces. Yeah, true. I don't know if maybe it helps if you have multiple now, because in 1.12 and lower it's kind of useless. Yeah, true. Actually, I, I was watching a replay of his stream, and he was working on a faster guardian farm with, po with amazing portals using uh, my spawning pad layout. Did I mention it's mine? Okay. <laughs> It's yours, is it? Is it yours? <laughs> yeah, he's using the layout I showed him, but with portals yeah. in between instead of dropping them. It's like yeah. I, I only watched the first, I don't know, two minutes, and it's it looks so fast. Like it, it must be insane that guardians are only there for. I mean, they as soon as they spawn, they are getting pushed already. So they are maybe there for five ticks or whatever. It's it's insane. I mean, might be a little bit laggy, but. With the portals, but I don't know. It's definitely the fastest ever, probably. So we'll see. We'll probably make a video again. Yeah, should be well above 1.5 million items. All right, now we are done with 113, right? Hopefully. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Next one, Roby, you added the links. Oh, did I? Well, the first one is Walter. They made an 8x8 though, which is kind of impact, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's a. It's like a. It's like a vault door, right? Yeah. It's not it's like not a flat like door, it's like yeah. tunnel, tunnel yeah, doors, door. I don't know how you call them. Or cave, cave door, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't really like it because it's using uh, obsidian on the side. That's for, kind of the problem. You have slime blocks there. I mean, for the size, I guess it's not too bad, but... And I never built a door myself, but I would like to have a, a seamless design without any blocks or special blocks picking out. Uh, I don't know, I once told him the idea if you shift the blocks around while well, you have the slam blocks extending. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if that's possible. Mm, no, I don't think so because the uh, obsidian blocks are placed in an odd way. So who knows? Also that sounds like an Oreo idea. All right. Yeah, we are not really the creative guys or door. Really interested in doors, but I guess that was a well, great I guess one. His doors are most, at least one of the more survival friendly doors. Yeah, most of the guys, like mainly the guys who are editing their videos, like crazy, the doors are, there's no air block and uh, so hard to build probably in survival. I mean, you could build it, but m most of the doors are, I mean, why would you need a door in survival? You can't, you don't get any items out of it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a farm, I don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's still amazing. Like every time I watch such a video about the door, I couldn't do, I couldn't design such a door myself. I guess if if you're not into it, yeah, just... that's the same for tree farms and whatever. Yeah, and I think the door guys limestone. can't do any survival or yeah farm designs. So yeah, I think there are more doors even. Didn't Space Walker made a free? Ah, uh, that might be. I don't know how long that is ago. Oh, I don't know, the, the free by free, uh, what was it? Uh, hipster door, I've, I don't know, I've just watched it today, if it's a video that he released lately or just ages ago, I don't know, but it's also amazing. Anyway, that's the doors, and what's this? Oh, I haven't checked out this video by Earth. Uh, yeah, that's a video by Earth computer, showing a way how you can manipulate the end gateways that generate randomly by like population tricks because the bug is I think that only the population uh, is not seeded and only the randomizer for the generation is. Uh -huh. So basically <laughs> basically, if you generate a world only the 
terrain gets generated using the randomizer of the seed. Yeah. The population does not. Yeah. The okay. overworld, I think, the seed gets also involved in the population. All right. Yeah, I should check out that video myself. So what, what can it be used for? Well, there's some problem, so you can't use it for wither cages, but this idea was, for example, if you spawn like three or four, whatever you need, of the end gateway so close, you get a three by three or more. Oh. But oh, it's not oh, possible. Okay. So it's related to the endstone farm? Uh, mm, no. No. Okay. Uh, don't think so. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I have mentioned it. I mean, it's already some time ago, but I think that was also a nice farm, the endstone farm. By Smokey and Ray. Ray released a video. Smokey mainly worked on it as far as I know. So yeah, I mean it's the first well, one and that quite... was basically a concept based on Myron. Oh right. Myron showed how to delete the data of tile entities. Yeah, and like that you can farm in stone, which is really great, in my opinion. Even though I think a quarry is not much less bad, I don't know. I think it's this this thing yeah, is sure it's better. better. It's infinite and I mean it can be faster than what they showed for sure. But for the first concept, it's really great. All right, what's this? Two-way supercharge engine. The Phoenix one. By... That's the super fast engine someone made. Oh yeah, two-way, yeah. Yeah. So that wasn't a thing before? There was no one ever making a two-way 3x3 engine. I'm not sure. Because I was thinking about that the other day, too. Hmm. Might be possible, it's a, but this is like really small. Yeah, might be useful for whatever. Or flying machine stuff, maybe quarries, who knows. Now another Let flying me. machine by Pingu and... Oh yeah, Pingu made one. <laughs> his journey to make the most useless flying machines ever. <laughs> 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 but this one is not too useless, I mean it's great. And I they're yeah. always insanely compact. If you have a question or need something for flying machines, you can ask him. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> he doesn't know everything. Yeah, okay. XCOM and I had a problem and he couldn't solve it either. What? What's up with him? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so it's a repeater cannon. I don't know. Check out the video. Also, it's very well edited, I think. Oh no. yeah, he's also editing his videos more than most other people do. And it's not over-edited, I would say. It's still okay. Alright, so that's the flying machines. And I think we covered all videos from the past... Like one or two weeks. I don't know if we forgot something. Oh yeah, if you forget something, just tell us in the comments. So you can also oh, suggest. Right. There was one more video by Ed for one point thirteen point one. That's kind of old. Uh, how to break like multiple blocks of bedrock in one setup. Oh yeah, right. We can link that too. I mean, it's nice that bedrock breaking is still a thing. <laughs> so not completely gone, but. Dragon Egg trick is gone, so and since the spawning changed, it's even worse. So farms are even slower now. I mean, at least Bedrock Breaking is a little bit more balanced now. Even though it's not intended, it's a, it's not <laughs> as overpowered as just dropping an entire sheet of Dragon Eggs. It depends on what's your definition of overpowered. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, it was overpowered. Yeah, uh, that's I I mean it's sad that it's gone, but it's not like it's the same for everyone, so you can still make fastest farms with the new uh, mechanics in 113. It will be slower than 112 farms, but yeah, for 113 farms you can still... It's also faster to build because you don't need to do it. <laughs> True. If you're a survival player and want the fastest farm on your survival world, it's definitely easier now. Or uh, if you start a server in 113, it's definitely easier. Alright, so... I hope we covered all videos now. No one else says something. All right, what else can we talk about? What did you do I last know. week? <laughs> I know, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, KK. Well, that's your the only thing you contribute to this podcast. Amazing. So what I've done last week, not much, to be honest. Digging a few Are you talking blocks. about like in Minecraft? Yeah. Or are you talking about your, your life? You can... <laughs> we can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> well, then it wouldn't be a technical Minecraft podcast anymore. Someone go get a book. book. Start reading. No, but of course make a review. What? Go out to OP chapter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> so, 
No, we have a new video. Let's talk oh, about that. Okay, from video. one. Okay, go talk. What is it about? XP item sorter. So basically, it just sorts between items and XP, just because XP has a bigger hitbox than items do. And uh, Lord John uses cakes to sort them, basically. Yeah, I think it just has, been, would... it has been known for some time, but no one ever made a it has a use dedicated for sorter. But the cakes are kind of bad because they can't be moved. Yeah, but you don't need to remove a sorting machine, do you? <laughs> Does well, everything need to be moved? If you want to retrash the XP directly for moving, then it's best to have it movable. Oh, you mean for yeah. Crowy? Oh. Yeah, for what else? I don't know, it could be. <laughs> I never... Oh, actually, then for... Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know for what else. For uh, for uh, overworld farms, uh, where you kill the mobs with a player. I don't know. Yeah, that might be. That's always... That's also a problem in... With the skeleton farms in the nether. Get the XP to the player and... Yeah, separate the items. Alright, so I think that's it, right? Yes. Yep, I got nothing else to say. Alright, so yeah, uh, please leave your feedback in the comments. We are not too many people today talking, actually only like three. But in the future we are also planning on yeah, inviting other people to the podcast. Yeah, so... if you're interested, go ask. Yeah, just ask in the comments. I mean, DMTT on Twitter. Or Discord, better do Discord. Or Facebook. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I better Discord. For now, I put the uh, duct public Discord link in the description, so you can find us, all the duct members there. But we are, as I said, we are not planning on making this a duct podcast. It's, as I said, a technical Minecraft podcast. So, yeah, also other people like, should join and share their opinion. I guess we hope it lives a bit longer than the some other podcasts and new shows. <laughs> What? Which which podcast would you be talking about, Roby? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. That's very non-specific. Yeah. So if you have suggestions to, I don't know, improve this podcast, or you can also link some channels if you have some uh, great technical Minecraft channels. Don't and... don't link your own channel. That's that's just yeah. Garbage. Don't link your own channel. You're you're doing like three by three doors. Don't link that shit. We don't yeah. want that. <laughs> yeah, we are mainly interested in survival technique in minecraft so who cares about doors <laughs> except for walter's doors we like those <laughs> <laughs> yes so yeah i guess see you next time next week or in two weeks we'll see on a couple months <laughs> no <laughs> please oh never again <laughs> <laughs> yeah right, this is the was... last first and last podcast see you guys <laughs> this was the first episode second maybe <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.